An end to a border blockade in Canada, with this Alberta road now open to traffic and others following, as police move on the final remaining protesters. The end of the weekend saw a major route linking the town of Windsor with Detroit and the United States reopen too. It handles a quarter of trade between both nations. In capital Ottawa, it's a different story, however, with demonstrating truckers occupying roads in the city centre for nearly three weeks, demanding an end to vaccinations needed to cross the border along with other health measures and expressing substantial anger with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government. There's lots of dirty games going on. I hope, I hope that uh, we can turn it around because it's, it's insane what they are doing. They are not representing the Canadians anymore. And they completely forgot, forgot the purpose, what they are there for, working for the people, not against us. Tuesday saw Ottawa's chief of police step down amid serious criticism over his handling of the crisis. Seeking headway and to give authorities a freer hand, Trudeau invoked the Emergencies Act, becoming the second Canadian leader in history to do so. Amid heated debate in Parliament, he justified his position. These measures must be and will be compliant with the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. We will always defend the rights of Canadians to peaceful assembly and to freedom of expression, but these blockades need to end. That may be harder than thought, with other Canadian provinces now demanding restrictions end, in particular the vaccine pass. This is the federal government ends the need for a PCR to enter the country.